Hi and welcome. I'd like to share with you today um, a little thing that I found in my new camera which is the Olympus OMD e M1X that's been very useful to me and it's all about the autofocus points um, and the actual array that, that the points can have. Now there are several standard ones which we'll look at but also you can actually create your own array matrix for using in certain situations and one that I found really useful for doing my wildlife and bird photography. So let's get into it. My name's Ken Fisher and this is Live Link Training. Okay let's get into it. Well the first thing I'm going to do is press the live view button and what that's going to give me is access to two different modes if you like. There's going to be the what they call the super live view mode, um, which gives me lots of information on the screen. And if I press the info button, I'll get different amounts of information. So I've got a little bit of info. I've got no information there. I've got a little bit of information and I've got a little bit more information. And it's just a toggle that takes you round and round again. OK, if I press it again, I'll get what's called the super live view um, panel and this gives me access to lots of things in the camera you can see there's a whole host of them and if I press the OK button it'll take me into one and that's the one that's green um, now this is what I'm, I'm looking for this is the array of the, of the focus points now if I go into that you'll see that by pressing the OK button then I've got me single point focus and this is there's a, a total of a of 121 or in total but this is the single point focus and now if I move the the button at the front which is this one um, I've got a more accurate um, single point focus or I've got me five I've got nine points I've got 25 points and all these can be moved around or I've got all the points. Now at the moment, if I go another one, I'll go back to the beginning with my single point because there are four custom modes, but at the moment they're not active. So what we're going to do next is to actually activate and create a custom mode. Okay, let's do that. Now the reason I find this, this new custom mode so useful is because of a problem I had um, early on this year. I, I was in the Farn Islands trying to get some pictures of those darn puffins. And they're like guided bullets they are. But what I found was that I, I thought well if I have all the focus points active then it's going to give me a really good chance to, to nail the subject. Um, and so long as all the focus points were in the sky this worked fine. It was brilliant. But as soon as some of the focus points hit the water or the ground at the bottom, there was more contrast in that area than there was in the bird. Uh, and, and so the ground became the choice of focus and my bird went out of focus. Um, now I've found that if I create a, a custom um, a, AF mode, then what I can do is I can have just the top of the array live and the bottom switched off and so it, it doesn't matter then if I'm over the ground with the bottom of me um, of me viewfinder um, only the top in the sky is gonna actually try and, and reach the bird for me and I found this really useful and it really did increase my keeper rate from using all of them okay so let's have a look how we uh, set one up well first we're gonna go into the menu so I'm gonna press the menu button and then I'm going to go down, if you see this is where we start, if we go down to the cogwheel or the settings and then I come across and I want menu A2 and in menu A2 there are some target mode settings here, there's some custom target mode settings and if I press OK on that it shows me that I've got four uh, custom modes that I can define so okay let's have a look at the first one I'm going to press the the right arrow key and I've got both size and step that I can define now let's do size first okay so what I want to do is is do so let's say five columns up 
and we'll go all the way out to 11 columns. And that's about it. Yep, yeah, that's going to be good enough. So I'm going to press OK. And now I've got step and I'm not going to alter the step in this, but the step is actually, do I want to miss some of the points out to make the others more accurate? Well, no, in this point I don't. So I'm just going to press the, the menu key to come back the step. Now I've done my size. Let me just check that. Yep, I've got a five by 11. And then I'll come out of that by pressing the menu and then go back to A, to A2. Now at the moment that one I've just made will not appear in the menus. So what I have to do is one extra step. So again still in menu A2 I'm going to go up to mode settings. And when I click in mode settings you'll hear that the here's all the, the modes. So we've got all We've got one, we've got four, five, five, we've got uh, a 3b3, we've got a 3b5, and we've got our custom mode one, which is what I've just defined. So if I press OK, that will now appear. So I'm going to press the menu key to go back. And then we'll go back to our super control panel. And then we'll use the front dial. And you can see I can go through all the standard ones now. And here I've got my custom one. And if I press the up arrow key, I can set that one now at the top of the frame. So all the bottom ones will not be active. And so I've got a pretty good chance of nailing anything that's just in the sky. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that. Um, another step in my journey with my new camera, the Olympus OMD EM1X camera. Um, more to come, much more to come. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.